Good morning. Thank you for coming to my channel, my Buffalo Divine. I'm Max. Today we're going to do a love reading, peek at your person. I'm actually not sure which sign we're doing. I have got uh, four different decks we're going to be using today. I'm going to do two decks per person. And I've got all of the zodiac signs here in my bowl and little pieces of paper. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the next one. I've already done, uh, who did I just do? Capricorn. So uh, let's see who's next. Here we go. This one. Who do we have? There you are. The lovely Taurus. Hi, Taurus. How you doing? I missed you guys. All right, Taurus. <clears throat> my darling dears, my fellow bulls. I'm a Taurus moon. All right, let's roll. What is Taurus's person's energy towards them? I am not taking reversals. If you're interested in a private reading information is below. I do one-on-one uh, -on -one tarot therapy sessions. I'll put it to you this way, Taurus. Your person is very curious about what you're doing. Tell me more about your person's energy towards you. Aw. Aw, that's why. Yeah. Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck, Taurus. Okay, your person is very vibrant. This is not gender specific. This is a generalized reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it is not your reading, click off. I hope to see you back. Here's the energy I got coming in Taurus. We have got five of cups, wheel of fortune, seven of cups. I'm going to put it to you this way, Taurus. And this, you could be in a relationship with this person currently. You may be married. You may be dating. You may be in a committed relationship with someone. Um, I don't know if I just said that. Either way. This person, for whatever reason, kind of felt left out in the cold by you. They may have been healing from something else in the past. Uh, if, it, if it wasn't love related, it may have been a family matter or um, friends, issue with friends. Something that really kind of got them down in the dumps. Uh, but this is a love reading. So I kind of want to say you may have done something that made them feel left out in the cold. Okay. They may have even thought that you had other options. Or, and by options, could be other people, or could be you've just got a lot of other things going on. You're a very busy person. You've got your hands in a lot of things, okay? But we've got the Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> this person wants nothing but good things coming out of this. Their energy is also going to change. So if they've kind of been in a funk or something, that's going to flip-flop. I also want to point out this person feels... Uh, you help increase their opportunity in life. This person feels abundant knowing you, with you being in their life. That's really sweet, Taurus. That is really sweet. This person also could be a real go-getter. They work hard, play hard, study hard. <clears throat> this person's very admired by others. Outgoing, charming, great personality. Total package, right? So what's your energy towards them, Taurus? I'm seeing good things here. Let's go. What? What's uh, Taurus's energy? I've already shuffled, by the way, off camera, but I'll shuffle one time on for you. What's Taurus's energy towards this person? From across watchers, because I know you'd be watching. Taurus's energy for this person. Taurus's energy towards this person. First of all, Taurus, this person really turns you on, okay? 
something has happened here. I feel the energy heavily between the two of you. There may have been a recent argument or something that happened. We've got two fives here, one five on each side. Five speaks to change, five of cups, and we got the five of swords on your end. You're very in your head about something. And this person is feeling very uh, sad. Um, it's almost like you're in your head over whatever they're sad about. They're more um, matters of the heart. You're more matters of, the, this is like mind warfare, heart warfare. I don't know. That was really, I've never used those terms before. Mind warfare and heart warfare? What? Okay. I don't know. There's something there. Here. Here's the thing though, Taurus. I'm not trying to alarm you, but justice is coming in. Okay. So, oh, my eyebrows itch and this is heavy. This is a specific message. Taurus, there may be uh, a few of you that I'm connecting with that our lawyers are involved in the legal system, the justice system. This person could be involved in the legal or justice system. Uh, either way, if not, you've got mad karmic justice coming your way towards this person. You want to bring this person justice. You want to do right by this person. Very much so. Very sweet. It's a very protective energy as well. <clears throat> You want to do what's right, what's fair. You're a very fair person anyways, Taurus. You always have been. But you want to do what's right for this person. So tell me about this person's feelings towards Taurus because it's looking like it's up around the upswing with their energy. What are their deep-seated feelings for Taurus, please? Wow, can't make it up. Four of Wands. Four of Wands. Ultimate Partnership. Best friend, five of pentacles, there's that five again, and the emperor, wow, cross officer, oh, whoa, can't talk, let's try that again, yeah, seven of swords, okay, cross watchers, I'm sorry, I'm apologizing now, <clears throat> Taurus, your person is slightly insecure of who they are. Five of Pentacles under the Seven of Cups. But I talk about options. Like if they think you have other options or there's other people that flirt with you or that you want or that you give attention to, it really makes them feel insecure and they put themselves out in the cold. It's like they do something mentally. I want to say it's even a trauma response. Whenever they think that there's someone else, maybe they've been cheated on in the past or, or something, they do this like self-imposed feeling left out because their feelings is actually this partnership, but then they like get insecure and in their head a lot, okay? Their feelings for you, emperor or empress, again, not gender specific, you're very in control. You are amazing. You're a leader. You're focused. You're stoic. You are able to master any situation that you get into. They love that about you. You are passionate. You're very forward thinking. And uh, I just heard the word industrious. <laughs> That's really, oh. Do you guys talk really smart to one another? Is that like your kink? That's so funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know where that just came from. That's funny. I just picked up on something. Y'all kinky. All right. I'm picking up on somebody. Y'all are really kind of geeky kinky. And I mean that as a compliment. I really truly do. Okay. I hear other people laughing right now. Y'all know what I mean by that. I don't know. <laughs> oh man. That was funny. All right. Let's see. Taurus, what's your feelings towards this person? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Knight of Swords coming in. Taurus wants to like save the day. Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords. You got the Knight of Swords under the Knight of Wands. <clears throat> Clarity, truth. You got a lot to say. <clears throat> what are Taurus's feelings for this person? What are Taurus's feelings for their person? Eight of Pentacles. Ready to harvest and put the work in make it work there it is I can't make this up you guys look at this shit look at this shit are you seeing this this is what just flipped out 
the Empress. Yep. Divine counterparts, baby. <laughs> Can't make it up. My cards don't lie. My cards don't lie ever. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up. I should have been a comedian. Instead, we do weird videos on YouTube and hope I get more than five watches. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I love you guys. Okay. Thank you so much, universe. Um, yeah. Taurus, this person's your light. This person's your world. This person is your person. You cannot get enough of them. Look at this. You can't get enough. If you don't have kids with this person, you may. And they want to have kids with you. <clears throat> oh, I wasn't supposed to say that. Someone did not want me to release that say that secret. Someone don't want you to know that they want kids with you. All right, that's specific. I'll leave that there if you don't already have kids. Maybe you already have kids and this person wants more. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is a beautiful energy. I do feel slightly your person is a little insecure, Taurus. But hey, that's part of the process, right? We all go through it. You grow through what you go through, right? I'm happy for you, Taurus. Get out of your head up here. All right, y'all. Y'all are put, you got three fives here. All right. I'm just I'm gonna point it out. And this is what I'm gonna leave you with, Taurus. This is great energy, but you got five, five, five. Check out that angel number. I'm gonna just give you a heads up. You got massive change coming your way with regards to this relationship. I feel it's for the better. But some people don't like change. So there you be. Thank you so much for stopping by. Again, if you're interested in a private reading or if you would like uh, more information, everything is down below that you need to know. If this is where we part ways, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I am so grateful to do these for you. I absolutely love it. This is my passion. And if this is uh, the end of uh, where we see each other, I guess, take care of my loves. All right. I'll be putting up more content soon. Bye.